Come, children, I want to tell you a story about a miracle in our village. It is the day before Christmas in the small Russian village of Zima. Alexei and his babushka are walking through the village as the snow falls to the frosted ground. While they huddle together to keep warm, she whispers in his ear their beautiful memories of Christmas when she was young. Our church was crowded as a pod full of peas. Pine boughs filled the church with the scent of the forest, and watching over us was the blessed icon of St. Nicholas. What is an icon? An icon is a painting of a holy person into which the artist has put his whole soul. Our icon of St. Nicholas was 500 years old and more precious to us than our lives. Why is our church closed? Long ago, when I was a child, the very age you are now, soldiers came into the village. They did not like churches. They did not want us to believe in God. you in your church, we will come back here, arrest you, and take you very, 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 very far away. Don't ever, ever, ever come in here. No sooner had the soldiers barred the doors of St. Nicholas than everything inside the church disappeared. It is a great mystery. But that was long ago. The soldiers are gone now. Then why can't we celebrate Christmas in the church tomorrow? The church has been closed for 60 years. You cannot celebrate Christmas in a church with an empty altar. With no cross, no candlesticks, no bread and wine, no icon of St. Nicholas, no priests. The mice are running. And birds have made their nest there. It would take a miracle to open our church again. So what is a miracle? A miracle is when God enters into your dream. But first, you must have the dream. Alexei rubs the frost from the windows of St. Nicholas and peers inside. The church is empty. The floor is soft with dust. The walls are netted with cobwebs. He tries the door of the church. It is unlocked. If a door was unlocked, Alexei was a boy to walk through it. I wish we could celebrate Christmas in the church tomorrow. I wish we could celebrate Christmas. I wish we could celebrate Christmas in the church tomorrow. I wish we could celebrate Christmas in the church tomorrow. Alexei goes to the forest and returns with twigs and tree branches. He wraps a bundle of twigs with some twine and sweeps dust from the floor. He brushes the cobwebs from the walls. He cleans away the bird's nests. <laughs> and he lays the bows around the altar. Z 
Zima is a village where you are as likely to be in your neighbor's house as your own. Word of what Alexi is doing soon spreads through the village. The villagers hurry to see for themselves. The farmer and his wife, the carpenter, the storekeeper and his wife, the teacher, and the shoemaker arrive with their families. Alexi's mother and father come with Alexi's babushka and his little sister Natasha. One after another, the whole village takes turns peeking into the church. One after another, they return to their homes with a big smile and a little secret. Only the shoemaker stays. His clothes are worn and patched. His gray beard is tangled. His shoulders are stooped from hunching over his work. His hands are stained from tanning leather. Alexei, why have you swept out the floor and laid the pine boughs on the altar? So we can celebrate Christmas in the church tomorrow. You know what, Alexei? Many times I have mended your boots, and when I saw the holes you had worn in them, I said to myself, there is a boy who will always be one step ahead of us. The shoemaker goes away with a big secret. Alexei finishes cleaning up the church and returns home. For their dinner on Christmas Eve, Alexei's family had jam to put into their tea. There was a dish of cooked dried fruits, 12 fruits in all, one for each of the apostles. Alexei's mother had prepared kutya, a thick porridge made of crushed hazelnuts and almonds cooked with barley and honey. It had bubbled to itself on the stove all afternoon. You can tell when it is done when it does not talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is to remind us that Jesus was born in a stable. This is to remind us that Jesus lay in a manger. Outside, the wind sends the snow tumbling and swirling. It seeks out the cracks in Alexi's house, sending bits of surprise snow through the cracks. Still, Alexi and his family are happy, for the porridge warms their insides and the snow warms their outsides. After dinner, there were gifts. Babushka gives Alexei and Natasha the gingerbread man that she baked. <laughs> now it is time to go to bed. In bed that night, Alexei cannot stop thinking of the empty church. He watches the moon turn the snow blue and the ice cold golden. He climbs out from under his warm quilt. Alexei puts on his new boots and goes out into the winter night.
He tramps through the snow until he reaches the Church of St. Nicholas. He is surprised to find the farmer and his family inside the church. The farmer is placing two silver candlesticks upon the altar. His wife has a handful of candles. Flames kindle on the altar, illuminating the darkness. Where did the candles and candlesticks come from? When our church was closed, my father hid these candlesticks in a sack of grain. Every summer we gather the honey and make candles from beeswax for just such a day as this one. The teacher enters the church carrying a lumpy bundle. Inside is an altar cloth. Where did so beautiful a cloth come from? When the church was closed, my mother hid the cloth among her quilts. <coughs> my Dadushka rescued this cross from the church the day St. Nicholas was closed. All these years it has lain hidden under the floor of my workshop. Just then, Alexei's mother and father, <coughs> along with his babushka, Natasha, entered the church. <coughs> At last, the icon was in the church where it had been for as many years as anyone could recall. The eyes of the saints seemed to be looking right at Alexei. Now we have the candle. Now we have the candles, the altar cloth, the, the cross, the bread and wine, and the <coughs> Saint Nicholas. But we don't have a priest. We must wait. Many years ago, it was dangerous to be a priest. Priests were often put into prison, so we hid our priest in our village. He became our shoemaker. Now, we have our priest back again. Christmas service is just as Alexis Babushka remembers it from so long ago. It also warms the heart of everyone present who is witnessing this beautiful miracle. They each had a dream that started with Alexi acting on his dream. God entered these dreams, blessing them and giving each of them a most beautiful Christmas gift. The celebration of the Nativity Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.
out. This is the way we go to church. Go to church. Go to church. This is the way we go to church. I'm happy this morning. This is the way we do our friends. Meet our friends. Meet our friends. This is the way we meet our friends. What happens this morning? This is the way we stand and sing. Stand and sing while we're standing. This is the way we stand and sing on a happy Christmas morning. Son of God. 
stay right where you are. It's the one that cuts out. <laughs> um, so we have um, Eric as our narrator, um, Gabriella as our babushka, um, Alexei as uh, Brogan, and um, Andrew, um, the shoemaker and priest. We have the storekeeper, or, I'm sorry, the uh, farmer and his wife, um, Kolya and Daria Ryman. As the um, Alexei's mother and Keegan Kunkel as his father. We have Kenneth as a carpenter. Luke and Mahaley is our storekeeper and his wife Ella. And we have Rachel, she was Natasha, Alexi's sister. And Dima um, was a villager, and so was Lee. Some of them, and you probably couldn't notice, some of them were very um, apprehensive about playing their part and um, kind of shy, but they did an excellent job. Thank you, everybody. thank the parents and the grandparents that helped us um, produce this play and also for all of you for all your prayers and support um, always thank you um, I'd like to get a picture so if all of you could get in the middle there um, in front of the forest oh also um, we have two very artistic people in our parish um, Gabriella Wisleski and Brittany Dubis where are you are you here they did most of the uh, painting. Uh, Gabriella did the forest, and um, and they both did the fireplace. Um, Cheryl Gall, Tom Gall, and Brittany Dumas did the um, the storefront that you see. So, thank you, all of you. You did an excellent job. Oh, Mary did help paint as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Mary's the teacher. Uh, I'm sorry, Mary. Mary Slutsky is our teacher. <laughs>